Hey guys, I'm Hale Meister, and today I'm going to show you the do's and don'ts on hiding a geocache. So you want to hide a geocache. Well, take it from me, I have hidden over 360 different geocaches over the 10 year time that I have been geocaching. Everything from traditionals to puzzles, hosting events, multi-caches, and yes, even a few where I goes. And today I'm going to give you the do's and don'ts and how to hide that geocache. Well, the first thing you're gonna to wanna to start off with is a sturdy, nice container. One that is waterproof and weather resistant. Now, not everybody here has the same weather, so you're gonna to have to go by what your climate is as to what is weather resistant. What you don't wanna do is use a geocache container that used to be used for Cool Whip or some kind of flimsy plastic material that used to have food in it. Do use things that help you hide your container better. Such as galvanized wire if you're hanging in a tree or a bush, camouflage duct tape or camouflage spray paint, and don't forget, write in the rain log sheets. What you don't want to do is use old wire bread ties, florist wire, and don't forget to put your log in a plastic baggie. Do place it in a place where it is hidden from muggles, unless of course you want your geocache to be intended to be hidden in plain sight. What you don't want to do is hide it right out in the open in a busy spot where other geocaches are going to come try to find it and raise suspicion while they're looking for it. Do use a waypoint marking app or a dedicated GPS to obtain the coordinates of your new hide. If you have neither of these things, then a reliable website such as Google Maps will also work. Do not, and I repeat, do not, intentionally list your new geocache with bad coordinates to make it harder for other people to find it. Not cool. I have heard a lot of stories from other geocachers that go on FTF runs only to get there and notice that the geocache hasn't quite been hidden yet. So one of the things you want to do as you're hiding your new geocache is to make sure the hide is in the location before you list it on the website. Don't put out a geocache that you're not willing to properly maintain yourself and do not expect others to maintain it for you. Do use another geocacher or another person to test out all stages of your puzzles or your multi-caches, where it goes or letterboxes before you submit them on the website to make sure all the components of your new geocache work. Do read the geocaching hiding guidelines before you make your new geocache and post it on the website. And make sure you get all the permissions necessary in the spot that you are locating your new geocache. Geocaching is a family friendly game and shared by many people and we do not want to take our fellow geocachers to bad or unsafe locations. Instead what you want to do is show off your local parks, recreation areas, or local points of interest. Once your new geocache has been hidden, do go home and type up a new cache page on geocaching.com and wait patiently while a volunteer reviewer approves it. Do not get angry or bent out of shape if your initial listing is rejected. Denied. It happens. Well, congratulations. Now that your geocache has been hidden and approved, do make sure that you read all the cache logs that come in on your email. Geocachers out there might be trying to alert you of a possible problem with your container or the location, or perhaps they might be giving you praise for a great experience that you provided to them through your geocache. And last but not least, do not be afraid to archive your geocache if the location is no longer suitable for your hide. Well, there you have it, geocachers. I hope you enjoyed this video of the do's and don'ts of when hiding a new geocache. And now it's time for you to watch more videos. Here are some videos I think you'll enjoy, and we'll see you on another episode of Geocaching with Hailmeister.